to BMA House or to our online experience. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad to see you all here in person, and I'm glad to at the moment imagine you all out online. I'm looking at the AV team to see them a thumbs up show. That's absolutely definitely happening and working. And um, so I'm just super and, and happy to uh, to, to have, uh, have another artoir. Um Several people have said to me that the people who have come here have said that this is the first physical conference they've come to since Artoir two years ago, which was kind of the last pre-pandemic in-person event. Um, and then we survived our online conference a year ago, and here we are um, now doing hybrid. So that's uh, just great. We've got people from all over the world joining us online, so reaching from I think uh, sort of California to uh, Australia, so quite a band of time zones. And uh, if you if you think you're the furthest away in time zones, put it in the chat and see if you can get kudos for being uh, the earliest to wake up or the latest to stay. Also, a lot of people have flown in to come uh, from quite a long way away to the conference here. Welcome to you as well. It's just great to have you. And uh, we've got people here from um, 21 countries this year which I think is pretty cool. Actually, it was 25 countries last year, I counted. So, um, but that's still a good number, uh, I think, to have. Um, so let's uh, just do a few introductory remarks, and then um, we'll uh, we'll just click the clicky thing. And I'm getting a little wave from the AV booth to say uh, we're starting on slide 28. Can we start on slide one? That would be... It may be because I pressed this button 28 times. No, let's not push back through all the slides. Let's take it off into slide one and then start again. That's slide one. Okay, we have our first nickel glitch of the day. Okay, good. All right. So I do have some lovely slides I've prepared, and um, which uh, are on this uh, how are we going to do that? Um, if you just bear with me for just a second, if you're at home, just uh, go and pet the cat or something. We'll just sort out what happened with those slides. Hold on. So. So, we're back. Um, so, sorry about that. Entirely my fault. I gave the AV team the wrong deck. The last time I did that, I was presenting to 200 people in Saudi Arabia, and I gave them the wrong deck. And I had to just bluff my way through using the, the draft slide, which was terrifying. Uh, so, just going to sort out the slides. But um, I know what I have to say anyway. So, um, uh, first thing to say, I suppose, then let me, let me move on to a little bit further in the, uh, the list of things I was talking about. So um, just let me do the housekeeping first. So um, first thing to mention is that it's 18.4 degrees at the moment, because I know that temperature for people in the room is the most important thing uh, for the whole conference. It's the feedback that we get most uh, complaints and bullets for. If you're online, of course, the temperature is entirely up to you, so that's nice. But here you have to just live with the temperature we've got. Um, Wi-Fi. So your Wi-Fi code is on the back of your pass with your mini program. So if you need the Wi-Fi room, if you've been here before, I recommend that you forget the Wi-Fi and then rejoin because it's sometimes it's a bit sensitive about trying to rejoin two years late. Um, so that's there. Our Twitter hashtag is hash r2rconf. Please tweet like mad. That would be great. Um, keeping is super important, as is being well prepared with your slide deck. So um, we're going to keep everyone to time very vigorously. Uh, so I see the slides that I had intended to use appearing magically, so that's great. Um, just so I'll go on through a bit of keeping. So um, if you need support or help, um, uh, Ruby and her team from the Events Hub are here, of course, to help you with any problems you've kind of logistically. So just do uh, let her and her team know if you've got any issues. Um, I should talk about conduct. We don't have a conduct policy other than just nice to each other. Um, but if anyone has a sort of conduct issue, 
if they feel that they're experiencing any difficulties, again, speak to me or the event team, and we will just um, behave in a grown-up way and sort it out. Uh, badges and passes. Inside your badge is a act card, so that gets you in again tomorrow, so don't lose your badge. Um, and then at the end of the conference, if you could return it, that would be great. Um, as we warned you when you registered, there's going to be photography and recording of everything that goes on here, uh, including recording some of the online sessions. So if you're online, um, you should get dressed and um, we'll probably be recording you. If you have a difficulty with that, then just again, please let us know. Uh, for those of you building, there is a map in the back of your program. Um, which tells where the rooms are, and we'll be giving you some guidance when you go to your first workshop as to where to go. It's a bit of a labyrinth. Um, when I was up here to, uh, to start this presentation, I, I was sort of down there somewhere on the ground floor, and I saw a staircase and thought, oh, that looks a shortcut to the Great Hall. It isn't. Um, so that was kind of weird. Uh, fire exits are clearly marked and sort of obvious. Uh, we used to have this kind of starting on a Monday when we had a fire alarm test, which was always a joy, but uh, being Tuesday, we don't have a fire alarm. So if you hear a fire alarm, it's probably the real thing. Uh, delegate survey, uh, super important. We really interested in your feedback. There's a link in the online platform to an online survey, and uh, we can also provide that to you, um, or, and we'll email it out after the conference. So please do fill in the survey. And, uh, and we'd love to have all your feedback. Uh, it's super important uh, to get that. Um, lastly, on my housekeepers, is scholarly social. So those of you who are aware of scholarly social events, it's basically just a gathering of, of like-minded people in the pub. And I believe there is one of those this evening in a pub just around the corner called Heather Horn Wallace. Um, and again, if you ask the admin team, they'll give a bit of detail on that. So uh, that's kind of event. We finish here. The program finishes at five. You can have out till six, chatting or whatever, both online or physically. And then if you're here in London, uh, it's go around the corner of the pub. Right, so on the slide part of our program, look at the animated graphics there. Um, this is the welcome to the conference part. I can't believe that this is the seventh one we've done. This is just kind of unbelievable. We've kept going. Uh, you'd think we were right by now, but we're working on it. Um, so I want to do some things first of all, and I'm going to start by thanking the delegates for being here. It's really great to have you all both here in person and online. And uh, there's loads of you. This year, we, we're just below our highest number of delegates ever. Um, split about 50-50 on and physical, so normally that kind of everyone's here, but it's about 50-50. If we like four more registrations to do, which is by no means unlikely, um, then we'll probably uh, surpass our previous total. Um, so thank you um, for that. A word about you. Um, so we're almost exactly 50-50 people who've never been to our before and people who've been many times before. So that's kind of interesting. We're also supposedly 50-50 online and physical. And I, because I said to people, I don't care, you know, come or don't come to the thing, um, we don't actually know, you know, who's going to come and who's not. So we're counting the heads as, we, as they come in and to them online. But it is kind of about 50-50 uh, expected. Uh, we're about 60-40 UK uh, people and rest of the world based people, which is what you'd expect for a London event, I guess, plus the, uh, plus the online element. Um, we're 55% female and about 55% male, which is a good ratio. I always tell people we're C40 or 40-60, typically, at a conference, and either of those is kind of okay. Um, we've got 40 PhDs um, participating in the conference. I'm, I quite like it. We're supposed to be an academic conference, so a few PhDs is a cool thing. Um, and perhaps the most interesting thing is, amongst all the participants, we've got one Smith, one Jones, and amazingly, three Powells. I don't know what's going on there. Powell is a very popular name this year. So congratulations to Andrea and the other Powell. Uh, so welcome. Welcome to the Powells. You might form your own little group in, later on in the, in the conference. So thank you, delegates, for being here. Thank you also, contributors. So we've got an enormous roster of people speaking uh, and, and organizing and chairing and moderating all those kind of things at the conference. It's just a huge crowd. Um, partly because being online allows people to join who would otherwise be able to join. Our, our lightning talk program, of course, means we have a load more people who are actually not should here. Um, and uh, also we're kind of panel -y. So in a more traditional physical conference, we have a lot of kind of speakers. Um, and in this world, we've got um, 
a lot more kind of interactivity because we thought you'd like to see panels and talk to people and debate with, with, with people. There's a huge crew of people who really make this work and I'm, I'm enormously grateful to all of them as we should all be. Um, also, thank you, sponsors. I'm kind of unashamed in, in my, you know, recognition of sponsors. Without them, it simply wouldn't happen at all, and I'd be even more out of pocket than I'm going to be this year. Um, so, thank you, sponsors. Uh, Royal Society of Chemistry, again, are our gold sponsor, um, which is a, a delight, and they are. Um, and Atapon have come back faithfully, as they do every year. Thank you, Atapon, for sponsoring. Uh, MDPI back again. Corporation Centre, after taking a bit of a breather, have come back. Uh, great, lovely to hear you. Have you here? And Mauricia is our last minute sponsor. That, that we always have one great sponsor who just turns up at the last minute and goes, Oh, we sponsor, and we go, Excellent, really good to see you. Um, plus, we'd like to, to thank our other sponsors, Ringgold, who um, uh, are responsible for the Wi Fi in the building if it works really well, and if it doesn't. Um, and Mosaic, which is my own company, which is a recruitment business. If you're thinking of any recruiting, um, do let me know. And also, um, part of the free package you may have seen is, uh, is some lovely little um, uh, camera covers for your laptop, special small size ones for your laptop or your phone, which is very cool. And there's also larger sizes for your webcam, um, or as, as Phil calls them, the stupid little camera covers. So um, do help yourself to those if you haven't already got some. Um, Defend and Publish are here, um, and uh, I'm looking for Christine. Oh, that's Christine. So this is a business run by Christine Tully, a great friend of the conference. Uh, welcome to, to, to them and to her. Airy Systems are back. Thank you very much for sponsoring us again. And last but not least, Research Information, who are a media partner, and do pick up a copy of Research Information downstairs. There's no room when you get a chance. <coughs> so that's um, many thanks to the... What is next? We've done all of this. So, good news. We're just going to rush through <coughs> all things because I already did them. Everyone. Right, hybrid. So, I just thought I'd say a moment of what we're doing hybrid. Um, I'm indebted to Phil Jones for this image, um, which is apparently a hybrid creature of some kind, a griffin or a wyvern or a something. Um, this is a bit of an experiment. Uh, I'm going to ask a question in the room, but also if online, you want to put your answer in the chat. So, how many people have been to um, real conferences that are fully hybrid in the last five years? How many? Who's been to more than five? No, more than four, more than three, more than two. Who's been to one fully hybrid conference in the past few years? Oh, a few hands. Okay, so there's something to be. Or are you including this one? Were you in this one? No. Okay, so this is kind of new and experimental. Um, so um, here's someone, a picture of doing an experiment, but I have put the disclaimer. Because it's not, there's a whole website of bad science stock photography, and I, I took it from this. Um, but it is a bit of an experiment, and it's, um, it's challenging. I think it's challenging for all of us. It's challenging to, to organize and design and, and run. It's challenging for the physical people because they've got to not just engage with other people in the room in a natural way, but we're asking you to engage in the workshops with online people. Um, we're asking the online people to kind of concentrate for a day on their screens and to, to really engage with the, the material in, a, in an online way, not in a kind of passive watch Netflix kind of a way, but a real engaging kind of way. Um, but it's challenging, I think, for all of us. In some ways, sort of worse. I mean, it's certainly easier to just have a physical conference or just have an online conference. But it feels to me as if we owe it to ourselves to make this work. And, um, you know, Alison Mudd has a panel later on to talk about hard working. And it is a, a feature and it is something we need to get to grips with. So I feel that we're all pioneers in this. We're all working together to try out what is going to work and what is not. Um, so I think, you know, give yourselves a pat on the back for, for experimenting with us on this. Um, in terms of how we do hybrid, we've basically got two platforms. So we've got the on-air platform, which is what online people are watching this presentation um, in, and you will all receive a login for that. So you should be able to log in on your laptops if you want to into the platform or on your mobile phone, there's an app. Um, and you might like to do that because that then gives you access to chat, uh, to chat, it gives you access to 
um, approaching someone one-to-one -one and having a video call with them. So if you, for instance, want to talk with someone who's attending the conference online, you can fire up your laptop and talk to them in that way. Um, and it's got the timeline on it, so you can follow the timeline on there. So there is something to be said for um, firing up your laptop and following along. So don't switch on the audio and all that kind of because there's a small time lag and it's going to be super weird if you do. Um, there is power supplies to every table here in the room that you can um, plug in if you need to. Um, so that's, uh, that's the sort of baseline venue for what we've got going on here, primarily the benefit of online people, but accessible for physical people. And the other platform is Spatial Chat, which we used last year for the networking uh, very successfully. And you'll see in the icebreaker session that's just coming up in a couple of minutes um, how that is going to work for online people. But then we use that hybrid in the workshops and it's a chance to interact kind of dynamically with the, with the online people. So we hope that's going to be um, very satisfying and exciting as well as a little bit challenging to get to groups with. Um, so I hope you like that. Um, there's guidance on all of this, so I mean, I'm sure we all spent all of yesterday watching the guidance videos, reading the guidance documentation and all that sort of thing, testing the platform, so I'd need to tell you that, but there is guidance available, um, and uh, you download that from the website or from the platform. Um, but also, it's, it's intuitive, it should be all right. The other thing I would say is this is a, and one of my last things to say really, is it's, um, it's a continuous conference. I think when you're physically at a conference, that's sort of obvious that you're just at the conference and you set your email to out of office and, you're, and you travel and you're here and you immerse yourself. Although I do find people in the coffee bar having meetings and I trivia them back into the session. Um, uh, so that's kind of easy. If you're online, I think it's attempting to just sort of dip in um, and then go and do other things. And sometimes it's necessary. You've got childcare issues or whatever else it might be or meetings. But I really urge everyone to treat this as a continuous conference, not something to dip in and out of, or something that you want to just watch the videos when they're available in a, in a few weeks. Um, it's a continuous and intense. It's like being at the theater, not like watching Netflix at home. Um, so that's kind of everything I've got to say by way of introduction. So what we're going to do now is do the icebreaker, and that's a chance for you to both kind of engage with other people and, and make friends and all that good stuff, but also um, get a feel for um, the platform if you're online and a sense of what the, plat the online people are experiencing as well. So I'm going to invite um, Heather, who's here in the room, to come up and take my place at the stage. And I'm also hoping that Danny Kingsley, who is in Australia, will also be joining us in a, um, well, wonderfully hyped sort of way. So, and there's some uh, icebreakers. Thank you very much. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's so great to be here. It's my first uh, national trip um, since the pandemic. I know a lot of people are in that same boat. Um, really excited today to be able to uh, introduce this icebreaker together with my co my colleague Danny, who I believe is going to appear magically on the screen in just a second from the green room. So while we wait for Danny, um, there she is. Can can we can you say hello, Danny, so we can make sure we can hear you? Hi, guys. Great. So, why do an icebreaker than just because it's hilarious to us? See you guys do do hokey things. Well, it's time to get back out there and interact with people, whether you're interacting on person or whether you're interacting online. So, we wanted to bring um, sort of kick off the conference um, with a little icebreaker. So, um, Danny's going to tell you a little bit about a few of the things that we've got planned. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is the people online are going to uh, go to your, you'll be able to see on, on your screen to the right hand side in the information about the session. There is an opportunity to, don't go yet, there's an opportunity to go to one of the rooms in spatial chat. So once you get there, don't go yet. Once we get there, we're going to want everybody to get themselves into groups of on on in their little rooms on tables. It'll be quite obvious when we get in there. Three or three to five people. And the first task that is going to be for everybody who is in spatial chat and who's also in the room, your little teams, is to work out a team name. 
For people in spatial chat, we want you to put the team name into the online chat part, the, the, the time chat part. So those of you, do, are we ready to go, Heather, are we ready for everybody to run away? Yeah, if you're here in the room, you already have a team that you're sitting with them, uh, unless you really don't like the people you're sitting with, in which case you could uh, very awkwardly get up and sidle from them to another table. But I suggest... Uh, unless you know such about everybody at your table that you don't really get to network with them because you could use that as an excuse to just go ahead and stay um, at the tables where you are. And as Danny mentioned, the first task will be to come up with a team name. Or as I kind of describe it, if you were a band, what would your band name be? So um, without uh, so further ado. Online, yep, go ahead, Danny. If you're online, Please go over to Spatial Chat, choose Workshop Room A, Workshop Room B, or Workshop Room C, and I will see you there in a moment. Great. Thanks, Danny. So um, at your table, your task, come up with your team name, short and sweet or long and wordy. You're still with it for this activity, so make count and keep it clean. Even though we have a code of conduct, you know, we're keeping an eye on the things. Give them two minutes. Oh. Those of you online who are just joining us, you probably wonder what we're doing. Well, on the right side of your screen will be links that will take you into a networking platform called Spatial Chat. Don't worry, it's super easy to use. Just pop into a room there and join a table. Uh, and maybe even contribute to the formation of the team name, which is the icebreaker activity that's going on now. Don't hesitate to go because we've got some more icebreaker activities coming up, so find a team. About one more minute, guys. If you've got your team name and you're online and you can still hear me, which you may be able to, you can go ahead and pop it into the chat. Um, if, if anyone at your table is logged in to on air, you can go ahead and put your name in the chat as well. I can't see them, but I know they're good. Okay, everybody got a team name? Wave your hand wildly if you do not yet have a team name. You still can't have any extra time. Anyway, we're moving on to our next activity. Um, hopefully Annie got my uh, WhatsApp and we're doing this online. So for the second activity, for the folks at your table, find one thing everyone in the group has in common. Now, sadly, this could be that you're at the seven, not sad that you're here, but the only thing you have in common might be that you're here. We want you to dig deeper and look a little bit more at what you might have in common. You know, maybe you all had a, a cat when you were a child, or maybe you're afraid of clowns, or you're left-footed, or something like that. But we'll take a couple of the answers um, after you've had a time to put your heads together. And, uh, you know, bonus points for teams that have a more creative action in common. And we'll have about five minutes for this.
This is just another friendly announcement for people who are just joining us online, like that announcer at the airport. We're doing an icebreaker activity. If you're online, you can join the link to the right-hand side of your screen to go into one of the rooms and uh, participate in the icebreaking activity, which may actually be breaking ice depending on where you are. I'm just checking you're muted. Get about two more minutes. Okay, while we are finishing up with the common equity, I'm going to ask uh, Rick Anderson, call Rick Anderson. Anyone else you can impress into this uh, ask with you to just hand out the neck portion of the icebreaker. One per table. I'm told we're a little bit ahead of the uh, online group. Uh, but that's okay. Just got to keep things moving, make everybody has a good time. Uh, I'm going to call on a couple tables. I'd love to hear what your commonality between your groups is. Uh, let's see, Phil, how about your table? You all had, I still can't hear you. Oh, brothers. I've got a brother too. Two of them, in fact. Awesome. I'm realizing that I can't actually hear your answer. So, who wants to get up and pantomime what they all have in common at their table? <laughs> Alicia. Alicia can project. Drinking or eating? Drinking and eating. Both of them. Everybody at that table eats and gets liquid and apparently has pet monkeys. And big cats. Cinco de Mayo? I don't know. Anyway, I look forward to finding that out later. How are handouts going? Has everybody got a handout? Okay, so the next portion of the quiz is uh, name that logo or colophon. It's probably a bad time to tell you there act isn't a prize for this contest. But you guys are super competitive, so... Uh, And again, we've got about five minutes of this. So make it snappy.
Hey, Rick, do you hand out just one sheet or both sheets? May as well. We gotta get his steps in for today anyway. I'm expecting you guys to zoom on through this so we can actually get to the second quiz, but uh, finish up the first one. We're moving things along. I have not had any contact with the online people. I'm assuming that they're there and working solidly forward. Okay, before we move on to the second question, which I think we can just squeak, second question, um, let's see the answers and see how well you did. Let's get them all. Next year we'll make them a little bit more challenging. Okay, uh, hopefully you've got a second quiz sheet now at your table, and we'll see how well-traveled and well-conference attended you are. Move to the next one. Match the conference to location. And I can't help you because most of these, I have no idea what they are. Hey, Charlie, can you put the slides up in spatial chat? Danny wants to know. Thank you. those of you who are on your computers are not cheating on the quiz, just participating in the online portion of the event.
Okay, we're going to finish up in just a second, so squeak in those uh, last minute answers. All right, let's see answers. So how many people, just Stephanie and I were just talking about this this morning, how many people were at the wonderful Windy Alps in Nordvik? Lots of people here, fond memories going back. What about UKSG in Glasgow? Yep. ALA 2016 Orlando? Actually, I've been to all three of these, but it's my hand. Um, IFLA, I've never been to IFLA. Anyone in IFLA? Just Michael? All right. Who's, here's a trick question. Who's gonna be SSP this year in Chicago? Too soon to say, some people? Let's see, get your hotel room there. I heard they're going fast, so. All right, no word from the online side. I know they're lagging behind by just a few minutes. Um, so we will uh, hope that they're gonna catch up soon. Uh, and you can take the few more minutes before we kick off the session to find either another thing that you have in common or thing you absolutely don't have in common. What makes you unique? <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody who can ride a unicycle or walk on zolts or something. <laughs> So hopefully we're going to have the online people back with us shortly. <clears throat> I'm looking at you in the back of the room to tell me.
Well, hopefully we're going to get the online people back soon because we're due to kick off for our first session in just a bit, two minutes, I'm being told. So if you still like your team at your table, you can stay with them. Or you could use this as an excuse to say, I've got to go make a telephone call. Come back and join another table. Oh, Anna's, Anna, she's teaching her team. Whoop. Oh. Well, thanks everyone for participating in the icebreaker. Hopefully you've made some, uh, some friends and we will link up with the online people momentarily and uh, kick off with our first session.